Hi, Python Strings, Designer Doormat. Uh, Mr. Vincent works in a doormat uh, manufacturing company. One day he designed a new doormat with the following specifications. Um, mat size must be n into m. n is an odd natural number and m is uh, three times n. The design should have welcome uh, return in the center. The design pattern should only use uh, vertical line, dot and uh, hyphen characters. Yeah, so 7 uh, is m, so which is a odd number and uh, 3 times 7 is 21. So we have 7 rows and 21 uh, characters here. And we want to print it uh, in this format. Um, so there is a top cone part and then we have the welcome line and then a bo bottom cone part. Okay, so we will div uh, divide this uh, output uh, into three segments. So the first one is uh, the top cone. We will write a logic for that. Uh, the second one is uh, uh, the middle line. And the third one is uh, the bottom cone. So this will be the logic. But uh, before that, uh, we will take the input. And the input comes in string format. OK, so input. And then we'll split this uh, string in the split function. So it will be in a list format, and within the list, uh, we'll have string items. So we need to convert that uh, string. So we'll use a map function, and we'll convert it to integer. So int. Let me close this function. So we'll store the output in. Uh, Two variables, say rows and calls. Okay. So let's uh, check this uh, output. We are getting in the correct format. Yeah, so 721. Okay. So this is correct. Now uh, we will write the logic for uh, the top code. So we we'll look through the uh, rows. Okay, so for i in range of rows, we will print. We we'll consider this uh, uh, dot vertical line dot as one item. So this pattern is being repeated. Uh, multiple times so here it is uh, it comes one time and the next line it comes uh, three times and then it is uh, five seven and so on okay so we'll print that dot vertical line dot um, and we'll print it i times uh, so now uh, We'll use that uh, text alignment uh, logic, which uh, uh, we solved a couple of exercises before in the text alignment exercise. So I'll use uh, dot center function, and uh, uh, we'll define the width here. So width will be the columns, and uh, and we'll fill the width with uh, hyphen. So yeah, so. This print function spans from here till here. Yeah. So we have this item it will be printed i times and it will be in center of uh, the hyphens. Okay, so for now let's uh, print from uh, rows. So, so let's work out this logic. So in the first loop it will start from zero. So uh, on the first line it will not be printed at all. Therefore, we will initialize this uh, uh, range from one. Okay. And yeah, so on the first line, it will be printed one time. And the next loop, it will be, uh, I will be two. So it will be printed two times, but we want three times. And next time we want five times. So yeah, so we will increment it by two. Okay, so let's uh, run this code. Right. So what did I do? Yeah. 
I put this in uh, string format. Uh, yeah, so we are getting the output. Cool. Yeah, so our logic is correct. So we'll print the middle line now. So we, we do not need any loops here. We'll just uh, print welcome dot and uh, we we'll use the same thing uh, center width and uh, the space to be filled with the symbol hyphen cool so let's run the code okay now let's uh, go for the bottom cone okay now again, um, here I'll go for a loop for i in range of. Okay, now we in the first uh, for the top cone we st uh, went in ascending order, so we started from one and went till um, n. So for the bottom cone, uh, we will go in the descending order, so we'll start from uh, rows, okay, the maximum and uh, we will uh, go till zero and we'll decrement by two so let's work out this logic so on the first loop uh, i will be rows which is seven uh, therefore um, the symbol will be printed uh, items uh, which is seven times um, but uh, we don't need seven times we need only five times so let me start from rows minus uh, two so on the first loop it will be 5 on the second loop uh, 5 minus 2 uh, which will be 3 so it will be printed three times on the third loop um, it will be 3 minus 2 1 so it will be printed one, it will print one time okay so i'll use the same printing uh, statement yeah, let's uh, run the code yeah so it passed the test case we submit it and it passed all the remaining test cases great so that's the solution uh, if you like this video uh, hit the like button and if you like the content uh, consider subscribing to the channel thank you everyone for listening